The partial government shutdown has gone on for more than three weeks. For the federal workers at Tampa International Airport, there is some help tonight. News Channel 8's Ryan Hughes is live inside the airport to explain. Hey there, Ryan. Hey, good evening. Just off site, not far from here, is some help these workers desperately need. The contents of a kitchen cupboard are part of everyday life. For government workers, their everyday life has been disrupted by a partial government shutdown. You know, it's just stressful. Yeah. yeah. Just coming in every day, hoping that they make a decision. Until there's that decision, Tampa International Airport officials, United Way Suncoast, and Feeding Tampa Bay teamed up to help federal workers with food and other household needs. So they'll come in, they'll fill up their box, and then take it with them. The pop-up food bank is open from noon until 2 and 8 until 10 at night for the next few days. If the need keeps up, airport officials will keep the food coming. Our camber was there when the food bank opened. Most workers explained that they're not allowed to talk to reporters during the shutdown. TSA worker Randall Baker, who has a wife and baby at home, was the exception and expressed his thanks. It's, it's pretty big help, you know. It'll help us stretch it probably another week. Much needed help for people serving the American people and stuck in the middle of an ongoing political battle. And the airport also serving lunch to federal workers today. They plan to do it on Thursday as well. We're live in the airport. I'm Ryan Hughes, News Channel 8.